Hey guys, welcome again, this time with fun covers. Um, this video is about making a team. Uh, you know, we have three characters, uh, like the, the way I think you should play uh, is with three characters and one item. So we will talk about how to uh, make the best out of your team. So first, before we start, uh, this video is for competitive play. Uh, if you want to have fun, play what you want. I'm fine with that, with that. Games are meant for having fun. And if playing, I don't know, some crazy team makes you happy, do it. You should do it. But if you have a game that you really care about, for example, you have a friendly banter with your significant other or uh, a friend, and you kind of want to win the game just to, you know, see the look on their faces or something, or like, you know, just be happy because you won, because winning is also fun. Winning should be fun too, uh, losing should be fun too, but winning is fun, uh, so if you, if, or if you are going to like a friendly tournament because, uh, or, or something and you, uh, you are like a competitively minded person, like me, uh, then stick around, I might have some pointers for you. Uh, and once again, I assume you are playing 3v3 with one item per team, um, that's how you should play. And the team are designed for random scenario, so I do not have, for example, if you have like a, a tournament for just flags or that you know that you'll play leaders or some other scenario, uh, you should make your team for that scenario. This is uh, kind of for like uh, a tournament where there is all scenarios or before each game we are uh, randomizing a scenario. So, yeah. Keep that in mind. Also, this is the second time I'm recording this. The first one was, I think, too long. So I'll try to keep it shorter this time. Uh, basics. Do not have too much characters with one defense. How much? How many is too many? Uh, three is definitely too many. Two is probably too many. One is okay. Zero is perfect. Uh, just because one defense is uh, a huge downside right now, I think, in the current meta game. It might change in the future, but right now I think it's uh, it's a big disadvantage. Uh, don't have too many or too little scouts. Usually one is enough. Scouts are the people that are um, uh, gaining the points that are on the on the floor, like A, B, C, D. Uh, mm, depending on the scenario, uh, these points matter more or less. For example, in uh, territory, I think the one that have like one territory. I think that's that's what it's called. Uh, the, uh, in territory, the points are kind of useless. I think like almost useless. Um, they matter more in leaders and flags, but I still think that you should have someone who is capable of like moving more than four more than two and gaining a point uh, ideally you want someone who can move for and interact um, examples catwoman morty uh, bad girl can for example move free and interact uh, stuff like that uh, and the the third one really basic but really something that you should consider um you shouldn't play with all the four colors just because you won't get uh, the best use of your abilities. Okay, so here I give you some of the like quick uh, solutions um, to 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 the problem. Just play like you know two colors. Uh, this is pretty easy. Uh, you should think about these uh, teams and always in this video think about as columns, not rows. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, Joker, Harley, and Dorothy, for example, or Draco, Bellatrix, and Batgirl, Voldy, Rick, and Dr. Alan Grant. These are all good teams, uh, but they're not the best, of course, and I will explain more uh, in the next slide. So here we have something called advanced. Uh, what you should think. Uh, think about how you want to spend your tokens. So for example, if we take a look at this team, um, Let's think about like which which abilities kind of matter to us in, in this scenario. Uh, for the Joker, it's obviously uh, the mystery boxes and bank. Mm, like he he will he will want to use probably like a lot of our gray. So that means that uh, Harley cannot find distress, and that's okay because this ability is not really that good. Um, well, it's it's okay with somebody some sometimes with the boxes, but it it is a situational ability. Um, Dorothy will not 
do a lot of independent, which is okay because she kind of wants to do independent once because she will just be a scout for the first turn. Uh, and snappy banter, which is okay because, you know, this is also something that she like wants to do once or twice. Uh, but uh, then we have red tokens. Um, Joker will Joy Buzzer if he gets an opportunity, but it's not something that we'll probably want him to do all the time. And that's okay. Then Harley can actually do an IOE. Uh, she can out of the way. These are both for very short cooldown. And Dorothy can um, can do a lot of strong and sassy, which is also nice. So so we, we kind of got it covered, you know? We, we have a plan. Uh, as we can see, uh, we would rather have four gray probably and two red, um, but it's m maybe not all the time also. So so that's, uh, that's something. Uh, if we look at the team like this, uh, then Draco will just use Gray for his. Um, gray, Draco will just use uh, his Gray for for the Snake, and then he can actually uh, like we can use a, a lot of the um, ranged attacks uh, between Confundo and Avert the Statum, uh, just because we'll probably not use others. And Bad Girl can kind of go to uh, go uh, do a lot of flying tackles and flip kicks because we do not usually need that much uh, Morse Modora or H H Humanum Revelio. So, so that's something like going into the game, I, I kind of have a plan how I'm going to spend the tokens. Uh, but enough about that. Think about what you will do on the first turn. So, here, as I said, on the first turn, Dorothy on most maps probably will be a scout for the, for the start and she will uh, run with the independent because, you know, for move plus interact. Mm, here, I think Bad Girl which will start as the uh, as the scout uh, with, I don't know, maybe gather intel mm, using her uh, innate ability of one step ahead. And uh, she will, uh, she can actually spend the blue token so she can run actually uh, to someone with the flying tackle after she's done <coughs> with the tokens um, and that's something that you should you, sh you should plan when you you know deploy and stuff like that also think about how you are getting ten, the 10 points in different scenarios um, that's really you know hard to do based on the random scenario but when you start think about like uh, do you really want to go for kills do you want to you know hold the hold the center can you hold the center uh, how many points do you need from you know from scouting and stuff like that, and also fear, think what can character you and how to how can that how the, how that can be a problem. For example, here uh, we have no ranged attacks, so that might be a huge problem. Um, and how to counter that? I don't know. Maybe like Dorothy has, has kind of ranged attack, uh, so so that's something. Uh, here. I think Snake will be a big part, so we kind of have to, you know, keep Snake away from AoE and stuff like that because, like, the free attacks on the Snake uh, will cost us a lot. Okay, so with that in mind, I w want to just, you know, present you some teams that have some flaws in, in them and just talk about maybe, uh, like, picking up on those teams, make you maybe think about your teams and how to best approach it. So here, a team of very powerful characters, Ron Weasley, Harry Potter, and Bad Girl. Uh, for me, each of them is at least four stars, and uh, still there is a problem. I give you three seconds if you want to, you know, think about it. Pause the video. Um, the problem is gray. Uh, we do not have much business in the gray area. Like there is a single gray that can only be used for one ability. And uh, I'm not sure if you want to use that ability all too often. In this team, we. As we have it, we probably should, but that might be hard to do because Gather Intel usually comes one turn too early. Like, uh, because it's discarded at the end of the turn, it, you have to like start with Bad Girl, do Gather Intel, and then do other abilities, which is usually not possible uh, just because how this game works. If there is some abilities that you want to do, you want to like start with them, uh, and you have to start with Bad Girl for her abilities to take effect. Uh, but still, she can be um, like imagine like double flipendo or uh, or like you know flipendo or rain avert usage. Usually, if you have like a good chance uh, for double flipendo, if you start with gather intel for a cheaper double flipendo, 
you won't get the double sleep end though. Uh, I hope the, the message is quite clear, uh, but I do not think this ability is that amazing uh, in this team and we have a gray uh, resource just for that. Okay, here, Catwoman, Draco, Raptor, three seconds. And the problem, all you probably see it, is just a lot of one defense um, characters. I've played a team like this, almost exact uh, same team. And it's actually not too bad because, you know, Draco has the snake. Uh, Raptor can set herself up. Catwoman, you know, can can be deployed even if she's killed. In some scenarios it might work, but honestly I wouldn't take this team to a tournament. Uh, this is an extreme example of how, how a fragile team can be. Even though they have, uh, you know, um, they are too colored and like all the characters are pretty good. Maybe except Catwoman because, you know, she, she is ju just a scout in my opinion. She she. When she starts bruising, uh, she quickly dies, which is okay for her cat burglar ability, but not all in all the scenarios. Then we have a team that's very tanky and very powerful attacks. Um, and what's the problem here? Uh, there is a, a kind of a lack of scout, to be honest, and a lack of ranged attacks. Um, Robin would have to act as scout, which is pretty good, but he will get behind the, the good scouts. Uh, and then uh, we might have some problems with um, with range, uh, but this is a decent enough team, I think. Uh, this is somewhere where Robin can actually just because of her color, uh, his colors, and the provide backup ability, maybe he can shine. Uh, if he gets into the fight with other scouts, uh, he can actually uh, kind of like you know be used for the uh, for the challenges and and uh, moves or other stuff. But this is something to keep in mind. Maybe if you are playing this team, you know that it has a lack of scout. Maybe you give, for example, Robin uh, a broom so he can, you know, uh, move faster. Or maybe you give someone else a broom. Uh, just something to keep in mind. Then uh, we, I prepared three more teams for you guys. So uh, firstly, uh, Voldy, Morty, the Joker. Very powerful team. Uh, three seconds for a problem. I cannot count on the fingers. <laughs> uh, so uh, the problem is um, gray tokens. Uh, Voldy is a huge gray magnet, uh, as well as the Joker. So in this team, actually, the Joker uh, should be swapped for someone else. For example, a Harley, I think. Harley is a, a character when you give her a mallet or um, a whip. She can actually not use any tokens at all, in my opinion. Uh, and the Joker kind of has to has to use some some tokens. Also, red is kind of a problem, and yellow is a problem. Basically, this problem has pro uh, this, this team has huge problem with the colors, and it would uh, require a very skilled play um, for op um, optimally using all the tokens because like the the red is problematic also because you have to kind of like you know move the Joker for for it to stab, and then. Uh, he just uses one and he immediately gets it back, which is pretty nice, but you are still not using the other one. Uh, and for the yellow, you don't want, uh, you know, Voldy doing an Opungo all the time. You generally don't want to Opungo much, except for the scouting. Uh, and Morty kind of, you know, once he get, gets the tokens, he can get it together for the, for the gray, which probably sh he would, but then, you know, just using a character to get other tokens might not be ideal uh, but this is not a bad, bad team like morty morty kind of saves it at the end of the day with how good he is here uh, harley blanche dorothy three seconds i really cannot count um problem is the same as with the the other team uh the same that mm, there is no range like dorothy is the only like range and that's the small problem. The big problem, only two dice attacks. Um, there is no one that can actually attack with three dice here. So that's that's terrible. Like when mm, playing this against a team like like the, the here, the second one is okay, but playing against a team like this one, it's a suicide. I think uh, they just have so much many, much many, much many, much more <laughs> attacks with. Uh, with three dice. Uh, Kool-Aid Man has one, uh, Batman has one. Uh, what saves it a little bit is the AoE. Uh, but 
against a team like this one. How are you killing Harry Potter when he's down? You are you're, you are really not killing Harry Potter. Um, Ron has a range attack, so you know he has an AOE. She has a free free dice attack. Th this is just you know suicide. Like playing this into this uh, would be very hard. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, you have to have good attacks if you want to like brawl. Uh, and I don't think this team can do much more than brawl. Mm. Okay, and here we go into Rick, L uh, Lord Voldemort, and Bad Girl. Um, here the problems are, I think, a little more subtle, and that's how you use Rick. Um, I think there isn't enough support for yellow. I think Rick really likes free yellow. Um, and again, Rick likes teams when they're kind of independent on the tokens, and here Bad Girl just have like one blue, and she really likes two blue. Um, the, the only thing that, that's actually good is that there are free gray, and Voldy likes free gray. Uh, basically, with this character, it's like I would like free yellow, free uh, gray, and free blue, maybe at least two blue, and that's eight tokens, and we only get six. Uh, so that's like mm, heroes that are kind of dependent on their abilities, uh, and we are not using them. Um, what I like there but here like as, as i said more subtle you can actually play this team i think decently you just have to like you know change the way you think about these characters you you, you really w would like to kind of use rick just as a way to support the the cards maybe but then again the problem is that because of uh, you have free um free colors uh, and the characters that really like tokens that actually rick abilities are kind of bad so I think uh, that basically Rick is not functioning well within this team and you should swap him for someone else. Uh, okay, so that, that was it. And now I will get just to some good teams and talk about um, maybe you can try one of them. Um, this one is like really amazing. I really like the combo with Rick and Morty just because, you know, Morty has some extra extra tokens, uh, which is a very, a very flavorful, and I'm sure the designers uh, have thought about it um, when they made it. Uh, Agret Suko um, is also fitting this team because she just needs one red token, like for her, and that's enough. Uh, and with, with this, she, she's getting it. Uh, and also, like, there is a combo uh, between Get Swifty and Agret Suko. Um, this, is, this is just all working together. One small uh, problem, um, no range, but actually Rick can give you a range, so it, it's all fine. Uh, here, um, we are covering the weakness of Bad Girl that I talk, talked about with Gray, with pairing him with the Joker, who actually wants Gray. Um, and also, um, we are using uh, kind of, you know, red for, for the Batman, just so you know. So he can uh, kind of like, you know, blue and red. Uh, not a perfect team, but a very capable one. Uh, I think very fun to play and very fun for someone who is starting the game. Uh, and then here we are swapping the bad girl from the like you know the team with weakness for Marky uh, to get more yellow. Um, we are losing one blue, which might be bad for Ron, uh, but we are gaining a better scout. Uh, a red can be used I I even if not like think when you think about Morty you can think about him like uh, Like a two yellow character with red as a bonus. I think so here a red is just a bonus uh, But this is a team that would will actually use a lot of yellow So uh, he will get use of the red if he wants to just because of renovate how good it is uh, Flipendo and even protego can can be used uh, in this team Okay, so uh, what I want to and in the end is the item picks. Uh, two ways to go about it. First, identify a flaw and try to combat it. For example, not enough movement, get a broom. Identify a strength and embrace it. For example, a lot of uh, attacks uh, on the um, on the basic attacks. So you know you get a mallet or you know or you get a, a whip. And generic ideas, broom, always good. Cheesecake for bruiser or DPS. For example. Uh, 
Voldemort's Love Cheesecakes. Clover pairs if you are short, short on tokens, as I said, if I had like a problems with, with huge abilities, uh, then you can uh, get one of those to, to combat it. Felix uh, Felish is always good. Uh, whip and mallet if you have basic attack cheats, uh, so for example Ron or uh, Rick. Chainsaw if your ma uh, main DPS is melee bruiser, uh, a team like, uh, like this would really like a chainsaw. Mm, and uh, portal gun if you are playing flax uh, can be also very powerful. With that in mind, uh, I would like to end the video. Please let me know what you think, uh, what is your dream team, how you are building team, what is working for you, what has spectacularly failed. That's also a fun story. See you later. Bye.